You can tell on his face, he's already mad we're playing as Leon and not him. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back in for another new game. Well, all right, I need to kind of work. Okay, all right, hold on. I have some things to explain. First of all, welcome back in if you're not new to the channel. And if you are new to the channel, welcome in. My name is Casta and here I'll do a lot of playthroughs of a variety of games, pretty much just about anything. I will always give any game a go. With that, I do try to focus on first time playthroughs, however, when I say a new game, it's a new game to this channel, but it is not a new game to me. I have played Resident Evil 2 before, so I just want to be open and honest with you guys. I want to make sure your expectations are set up for success. Um, I will be, however, doing some new things to this playthrough. But real quick history on what the heck that means. So I've done a couple playthroughs before where I went back into it now as my age that I am now, now as I'm able to focus more time and energy and emotions into playthroughs. Long story short, especially if you're new to the channel, I have been streaming on Twitch for over five years. During that time, I focused a lot on Souls games, but a very few occasional times I would dip into some other games that my chat would suggest, Resident Evil 2 being one of them. However, back then I was doing it part time and so I would maybe stream for like two hours max and I just didn't give games the love that they deserved, the love that I just feel like they kind of command from us because when I go through games, they really are just something that I want to make sure I'm putting my heart and soul into now. I didn't understand that back then because I think I was just in a very different headspace. I also was very young. Um, so I played this the last time in 2020 and I know you're saying, okay, three years, like what's changed? Aren't you still really young? Yes still but i will say that what has changed is i now am a full-time content creator and so with that it's afforded me the ability to focus on games a little bit more than i had before and i want to be able to go five years from now and not feel like i need to go back through and replay games that i do play for the first time now as i have been for games that i might have tried back when i first started creating content so i am back at resident evil 2 remake again by the way i still need to play the original and i would love to do the original with you guys on the YouTube side of things. But since restarting my YouTube channel and trying to do Let's Plays again, I've taken this opportunity to focus on more story heavy games on this side of my content so that I can really do them justice and at least feel like I'm doing them justice and also being able to focus on them a little bit more. So all the rambles aside, I just want to make sure you guys understand it is not a first playthrough. When I first went through, I did Leon A and Claire B, but I'm mixing it up so that we get a little bit of variety and it still feels a little fresh and new for me. So we are going to be doing Cla blah, blah, blah. Leon B, Claire A. Does that make sense? We also are going to be doing hardcore mode because I am a masochist at heart. Now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think I've been away from souls for too long, so I just want to get back into the pain. Um, no, I just want to really make this playthrough basically a complete flip of what I did the first time around. So we are going to be playing on hardcore, like I said, Leon B, Claire A. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. I, I want you to know that my reactions are 100% organic. A lot of times I know it's hard for people to believe this, but I genuinely have a goldfish brain when it comes to games. I also probably go through around 50 plus games a year. That might be, mm, no, I don't think that's an exaggeration. Between YouTube and Twitch, I get through probably between 30 to 50 games a year. And so my brain has this crazy cool superpower where I just, I just brain dump a game and I'm not kidding. Like I can go back to a game two years later, maybe even sometimes one year later and completely forget everything that I did the first time around um, and get to experience it almost like it's my first time all over again. So superpower or not, whatever you want to call it, it definitely helps me. I feel like get back into a game and not feel like I'm just rinse and repeating and remembering everything. There are some games that limit it. Like, like I will always remember Bioshock one and that twist to it, you know, would you kindly, but other than that, I'm really excited to get back into the Resident Evil series. I can tell you guys, I'm looking forward to also replaying RE3 with you guys as well, because I do want to go back and have a very like heart filled playthrough on that side as well. So if you guys are new, I hope you enjoy the second playthrough. And if you're not new, you already know what you're gonna get into. <laughs> so let's just dive back into this and get to re-experience this all together. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, and whoosh. 
Okay, so I just wanted to share this with you before we get started and just show you guys the results from the last time. I am going to try it on hardcore. Like I said, I'm going to start and try on hardcore. We'll see what happens. I don't even think, I don't know if you can change it mid game, but I figure I'm just going to commit to it. But yeah, we're going to be starting with Claire A and then doing Leon B. And I'm not worried so much about whatever grade we get because uh, C's get degrees, right? So let's do this. Claire Redfield. A different nightmare awaits Claire Redfield, who is unaware of just how drastically her very ordinary life is about to change. Hardcore fans of the series. Saving requires an ink ribbon. No autosave. Stronger enemies. Oh no. Ink ribbons. I guess we'll collect them at some point. Raccoon City. The radio voice. Tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. That's food? Oh. No, I don't like so hearing somebody's like chew. I mean, the burger did you have? sounds oh, good. Man, I, Doesn't I look good, but. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes. It's heavy her rain. Nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like that. <gasps> I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Damn. Calm down. Just, hey, Dissing her, her when she can't even defend don't herself. Don't even fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to teeth and build them. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Be distracted. We can all see where this is going, yeah. We just smacked the grudge. Oh, oh, oh. That's a lot of blood to be dripping off of it. I like his flannel. No. 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 Do you see the way her ankle was like? What do we do? What am I gonna do? Get back in the cart. Yep. I know that you have to worry about your wife anymore. That red leather jacket. Yeah, I'm almost there. The Harley Davidson. You know me, I'll be fine. Gosh, I can't imagine biking in the okay. rain. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. Wait a minute. Did you guys see what? I gotta go. Was that a dollar a gas? Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Uh, what the? We all saw that one coming as soon as you say. Hold on, I need to go yeah. see that. Explore your surroundings. Got a telephone full. Diesel is 102. Regular is 106. Also, can I run away? Y'all know me, I'm gonna explore everything. Tires? Nice. Oh. Middle of nowhere. But what's the fencing for if they are in the middle of nowhere? Hmm. Some kind of government building? It's giving like military base fencing? Hmm. My car? Oh, wait, what? Blood. So if you pick Leon A, I know this sounds crazy, I just don't remember. Then you do this scene, but as Leon. <laughs> Dingo red cigarettes. When life has you seen red, enjoy the wild taste of Dingo red cigarettes. Get wild. Now on sale. Raccoon City. Mmm. We've got Ms. Oil gas station. Free air. 
Well, I'll be. You mean to tell me a bag of ice is more expensive than a gallon of gas? I really do want to, like, look at all of the gas prices across, like, all these different games, compare them, and make this, like, whole list and compare it to the year that the game's supposed to be set in, and maybe the area as well. Yes, we're open. Staff wanted. Hello? Anybody here? Herbs heal you? Do you see that green? It says green herbs heal you. On the ice cream Hello? box. Wait, that was so cool. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. Green, red, yellow, blue. Herbs heal you. <laughs> Hamburgers, cigarettes. Somebody either fighting a zombie or getting it on. Oh, blood. All right. I feel like I should check the aisles first. Oh my goodness. Look at all the snacks. Okay, injured guy on the floor. You're right. Priorities. Priorities. Are you okay? I'm gonna take that as yes. Okay. Wait here. Through I'll here. Check it out. Let's dance. Oh, we're in the freezer area. Is so like cool. Wait a minute. 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 I thought I heard that close. What hey, the hell? What the hell? Dude. Why would he shut us back here? Okay, let's see what this tussle's about. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Huh. Huh. Is that his tendon? That's vile. Oh my gosh. Uh. Uh. Fire. 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 Headshots, right? Headshots. Get this sight on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he's getting closer, he's getting closer, he's getting closer. Oh! He's still going towards us? You've gotta be kidding me! What? Claire? Oh! 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 Oh no! Run! Run! Reload! I just got smacked! Where's the exit? Okay, that guy's coming. He's still walking. The hell is up with you? Okay, he went down. He went down, but he won't stay down for long, I'm sure. Oh shoot. <laughs> um the 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 cop? No. Um I have four bullets left, but okay, he got it. I'll inventory management later, don't give me that. We gotta go. We gotta get the heck out of here. <gasps> He's getting back up. He's getting back up. He can't be alive. There's no way that I can kill him right now. There's no way. Key, use. We need to get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot! It's like a nightmare. Oh. Oh my gosh. How are there so many? Well, Leon? Don't shoot. Get down! Oh! I don't remember any of this! Leon and Claire meet at the beginning? You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. I feel like their voices are kind of low, but I'll, I'll fix that after. Um... For being in the middle of nowhere, there seems to be an awful lot of zombies. Get in! Hold on. Put it in reverse. <laughs> wait, where did Hick? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I was on a bike. He was in the car. Car, cop car. Okay, that's where the cop. No. 
going on? The cop car was from the sheriff that was holding the zombie. Some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. And you are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Maybe the audio is normally low because they. Here? No, I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. So am I. Well, <clears throat> it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. I feel like I should just put it out in the open so we just we expect no different comments from me but Chris Redfield specifically in seven and eight is just he I mean he's just it's my favorite all right him maybe Sephiroth I don't know <laughs> oh that was such an introduction who I feel like I should also mention that I saw that horrible Resident Evil movie <laughs> that came out in theaters maybe a couple years ago, maybe two years ago, three years ago, Raccoon City, was it? Where the person who looked like Carlos was really Leon, I think, or something. It was something really bad like that where you were like, wait, what? Ah. Uh, quite the power grid. Resident Evil 2. We do really need to go back to the OG, guys. We need to go back and test it out and compare it to this one because I have done RE4 and Attention 4's remake. Citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. Yeah. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Those are high hopes. What if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Is there a backstory to her necklace? <sighs> the way is shut was made by those who are dead. Looks like we're walking from here. I I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk. More like running. Yeah, good call. <gasps> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Leon, you got to back up. Yeah. Uh, what do you do too? And also What the That's the truck driver? Oh, shh. There, get out. Get out now! I can't! I've got. I can't! Hold on! Oh, no. Oh, they lucked out. Maybe not. Isn't that a gasoline? I think that's a gasoline truck. Oh, shh. <gasps> Leon. It's about to spread. Oh, oh, oh. There goes my ribs, my bones. She would be in such like shock, I feel like. Definitely a TBI yeah, there okay? too. Yeah, I'm all right. How about you? And they're still alive. It's not safe. Oh shit. Hear me out. Fire Going arrows. I'll meet you at the station. They're not dying because of the fire. All right, I gotta, I gotta get moving. But I don't know the direction I need to move in. This way. Just keep. I don't want to have to fire. I have four shots left anyway. Just keep moving. Maybe that would... Uh, alleys when in doubt. Alleys, right? It's like the end yeah. of the world. Oh, sh sugar shacks. It does feel like the end of the world. How long since the breakout occurred? The police station. Nice. There. Why don't I just like climb over the cars or something? 
Oh no. RPD. Oh shoot, they're coming out, they're coming out. It was open? They haven't... I, I figured they would... Ooh. Since when have police stations had, like, those kind of full-blown doors? It must be, like, older or something. All right, four... Yeah, they've got a lot of grates. Oh, I'm getting DVD flashbacks right now. I love the Raccoon City map in Dead by Daylight. But I'm always on the outside in this front area like this. And I swear that's always when the killer gets me. Hmm. Boarded up, but that's not normal boards. That's, like, actually iron. Where are they getting the iron scrap? Bodies. So, how do, like, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but... So, real quick, let me just talk about this for one second. So, I have played Resident Evil 2 Remake, 3 Remake, and I've done 4, both the OG and the remake, and then I've played 7, and I've played 8. I still feel like I'm not quite understanding... Did they come to you by smell like I, I still am trying to understand how a lot of the characters like work specifically obviously seven and eight are kind of separate but for two and three is it guided by your scent like once they smell a human they're doing everything is it kind of like last of us as there's always a generator right here, here? <laughs> hmm this is a beautiful beautiful police station i mean look at this the wood yeah this has to be it feels like something that was built during i don't know the the golden age or something in america specifically golden age but it's not quite art deco so maybe even before that i'm gonna hold off on that and we're not just going to open that. I think any time that I'm able to kind of slow down and look around, I really want to. Founded in 1969. They built this in 1969. It just doesn't strike me as a structure from the late 60s. Oh, I love these. I always talk about this, but I love these lamps. All right, here we go. Ink Ribbon 2 for typewriters. Um, so this is going to come down to always finding the best time. So I shouldn't do panic saves on hardcore, I'm assuming. Also bloody footprints, by the way. No panic saves. I need to make sure that I am really choosing wisely when to save. Like right now would be a great time because we've gotten all the way. Hmm. It's been so long since I've been back here that I didn't realize how many liberties DBD took with it. Bloody footprints. You know what? Let's go ahead and use one ink ribbon to just save right now. I think that's best. I'll, I'll interact with that after. Okay. Yep. 5-30-2020. Guys, I don't even remember, like, I mean, I know 2020 was a crazy year for everybody, but, like, I don't remember playing these then. Granted, I feel like every year goes by faster, and every year I forget more and more things from previous years. I should save over, oh, well, I can't now. I should save over the other vibes. All right, let me go ahead and take the, a well-worn key. I think now that it has the X, we can go ahead and drop it, so we're just gonna, but I should just be able to drop it, right? Yeah, let me go ahead and discard it. It's red. There's no way the gas station key is going to work there. My vitals, despite everything, look like they're fine. I don't know how much I regenerate. We use an SLS 60, five shot capacity, nine mil handgun. At smaller capacity allows for a small size, making it extremely easy to handle. We should definitely try to find um, like a pistol with an extended mag or something as soon as possible. An ink ribbon required when using typewriter. Oh, also, I don't think I ever saw, like when I went through, I don't think I ever looked at the other things. Police station, making use of a map. 
The map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. I do want to try to collect as much as possible. That's also something if you are new here, I really will always try my hardest to like play as organically as possible without looking up too, too much stuff, but try to find as many things. In my heart, I'm a completionist, but I'm not really. Okay, we have tutorial using key items using the map. So we have miscellaneous, a letter from best friend. Dear Claire, first of all, thanks for the letter. Now, if you'll let me get this one thing off my chest. I can't believe you really are gonna do it. I can't believe you're biking all the way to Raccoon City all by yourself, just to see your brother? What the hell, girl? I know Chris means a lot to you, and yeah, you haven't been able to reach him for a month and all, but you're nuts. You know how many perverts and assholes are out there? <laughs> that is the least of our worries now. Just waiting for a hot young college student to come along and take advantage of? It's not safe to travel alone. This feels like the most unnatural letter I've ever read in my life. But your mind's made up, isn't it? Fine. I get it. Just promise you'll call when you get to Raccoon City. Don't leave your bestest best friend hanging, okay? Love ya. P.S. Your brother may be THE Chris Redfield. And he may have taught you how to fight and use a gun like a banshee. But that doesn't make you invincible. So don't get cocky out there. <laughs> I wish we knew who it was. It doesn't say their name. I think it just was, maybe it's just there to like get you to realize why she's here. Just give a little bit of backstory. All right, it doesn't look like there's any items in the entrance. We have the taped box up over here and then we have first aid spray. I missed it. Lovely. Perfect. Okay, we've got a first aid spray in case we need to use that. Health and recovery items, as you take damage, your health monitor in the bottom left will drop from fine to caution to danger. Okay, so basically when we start at fine, we have two times until we die. When in danger, quickly heal yourself with a green herb or first aid spray before it's too late. Dun dun dun. I'm gonna go ahead and quick cast this bad boy. Mm. How do I, um... How do I... Wait a minute move hmm how do I shortcut oh you can't shortcut first aid spray huh you can only shortcut the gun right now okay uh anything else that I missed in there so why is that I need to make sure that B is nothing that I can tell as of right now let's keep it on the map we've got that we've got the item box These bloody footprints are really concerning. I'm afraid when I touch that, it's going to start the next part. And I'm really liking just relaxing and taking a deep breath. Oh, these are those three medallions. I do remember those medallions. What is that? Pressure tanks? Pressure? Um... Oh, and the legendary Resident Evil keys. Of course. Let's go ahead and actually explore the area before we continue on. Where did those footprints go? We've got a lion. With different combinations. Alright, so we're looking for... Let's actually go ahead and just make note of... We've got a harp or liar. I'm uh, not a harp, a liar. A woman. A bird. A lion. Fish. And a vase. But there's different ones in all of these. I'm sure we'll know when we get there. I'm sure we'll know exactly what we're looking for when we see it. I mean, the marbling... I, I, that wasn't wood detail, by the way. This is the wood banister, but the brown that you see around this, that's marble. At least some of it is. Wow, that's actually a really cool use. The, like, com combination, like, it's so perfectly done with the... the wood they chose. I know, I know. I'm already inspecting. Ooh. Mmm. This is locked up by a key, too. Cold drinks. Still missing lost child. So many areas in this. Mmm. I don't like that. 
We have another one. Wait, isn't... We've seen that key for two things now. A guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of the town wasn't always a police station. That's what it is. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. The orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage funded, founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Stained glass window. So the guide pamphlet is... So that, that's their selling point for tourists, is come see our police station and our orphanage? Who turns a museum into a police station? There's still pieces of art I feel like they've kept from the museum, too. All right, we've got a safe. Wow, talk about a bygone era. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a green herb. I'd recognize that sexy plant anyway. But can I assign that? I cannot. So I think only weapons can go on our quick cast. Okay, well that's good. At least we're getting some healing items. Mm, and also I think it's important to look at the layout. I, I do actually know the layout decently well. Probably more from Dead by Daylight, even if it's not exactly accurate than I do from playing this before. But see, when I first did that, I never looked at that kind of stuff. Like, just to kind of tell you how different I used to play through. Like, when I say I did not pay attention to stories, I did not. I did so many games dirty. That same thing. So that's three doors that all need this spade key. And... I will 100% take that. Handgun ammo at times five. Nine mil parabellum handgun bullets, the most common of bullets. They are favored for their stable flight trajectory and moderate recoil. Nice. But we need to be careful. We're already starting to... Already starting to have a lot in there. All right, on the second floor, so we can see now that there's the spade door, lion statue, spade door, and safe. So let's go ahead and open that thing. Yeah, that's something that I respect about games as well, though, is also she runs, like, her hips, when she's running, move not with her torso. Like, I don't know how to describe <laughs> I don't know why getting people running is so difficult. I know, like, everybody runs slightly different, but, I mean, baby got back. I should have saved before. Wonder if I should store anything, because we're starting to have a lot of stuff. Uh. Wait, aren't save points often found near these? So maybe I should just try storing the ink ribbon. I'll do that. My allergies. Did I check the other room? I think I missed a room. Oh. Chris? Leon. They're inside too. Leon. No. I found a way out. It's in here. Oh. Shit. oh. Send reinforcements. East hallway. East hallway. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right. Well, we have a map now. I should help this guy. I don't think we can help him. Claire, I don't know if we be able to help her. Did it just update our map? Oh, yes. All right, we've got interrogation room, observation room, press room, east offices, watchman's room, bathroom, break room, watchman's room. Oh, no, should I save before? Oh, that's right. Can I interact with this yet? No. I think I need a knife to cut away that tape. There's herbs and handgun ammo that I can see as well. Mmm. I guess I have to, right? I have to. That's the only way to get into the next section. 
I uh, I wish I had saved after I'd explored because I'm gonna lose a lot of stuff. Oh, great. I also want to prep you guys. There's gonna be a lot of deaths. I expect a lot of deaths. I vault through that window all the time to get away. Okay. Press room, east office. I swear, flashlights. Alright, we need to start making sure that we're clearing rooms, too. What is this? Uh, fuse box. Um, we need a second fuse. <gasps> oh, that's not good for staying silent. Where is this leaking from? The bathroom? Payphones. A lot of missing people. Hmm. Let me look at the map again. Let's go ahead and see what we are tracking in this area. Fuse box. I don't see anything else yet. So this should be the east office. Hmm. <sighs> it's crazy to me that they just have a bunch of boards going on in the middle of a hallway. Like investigation boards happening in the hallway. Do you see any zombies? Infected, I believe we should call them. Footprints. Okay. Alright. Time to show all those impressive CQC skills. Focus, Claire. Focus. I might not even be able to go this way. People were just like sleeping on the, I guess everything was changed, right? Oh shoot, what's in that room? That's the press room. I guess the fastest way to the uh, watchman's room would be through east office. But just in case there's something else. It would show us on the map, right? <sighs> okay, we can go into the press room. Do we want to go into the press room? Also, okay, so I can move that up, but that's gonna make a loud noise. I'm trying to be smart about this. Press room is a closed room. Much larger, but could be worth it. That is not dead. I have a feeling that's not dead. I don't think we should be here. Is anything in this room? Oh, I can't see. What does the red room versus another room mean? All right, we've got a radio. Nothing down here. Okay, let's come here later. Wait, what's that? I think there's ammo on him. I don't like that. That feels like a setup. Oh, I don't like that. There is something on him. Okay, we got some lights on in here. Ah. <sighs> This seems like one of those moves where they give you handgun ammo, but you have to... Okay. Huh. Alright, lights on should be fine. Flashlight back on. That's probably where we're gonna have to go. Let's go ahead and start heading into... East office. I know I'm gonna take this really slow, but I, I think also I have like... The added pressure of knowing I'm doing, <laughs> knowing I'm doing hardcore. Oh, well, there you go. Even though, let's be honest, you're telling me she can't climb through this. You're telling me. I missed my saves already. So if we're ever running from something. Okay, this is officially repaired, so it doesn't fall back. Cleaning in progress. Are there bathrooms right here? Yeah, we've got bathrooms right there that lead into the press room. Does it pause the game when you open up the map as well? Like, if we're in a hairy situation, am I going to be fine? Raccoon times. Hydrant. Okay, we have a lot more dead bodies right here, especially right next to the watch room. This is definitely going to be a fighting situation. Let's uh, check out the bathrooms first. One bathroom is locked. If 
That's not good. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think it goes green if you've collected everything. Or maybe when you've cleared it. Okay, I can't open these doors. Okay, leave. I wish we could stop it from flooding, though. I feel like you should be able to turn off the bathroom. Did it clear that? No, it's still red. Huh. I need to look that. I'm gonna go back in there real quick. Cause I have, I, I really feel like, oh, that's why. You can't open it when you have. Mm. I can't double stack. It's cleared. I'm not opening that. I, I, it, it's showing blue, do we? Can I stop it? No, there's no way you can stop the overflow. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. If you hear me always saying okay, it's because I'm trying to tell myself to get it together. Oh, this is lo- oh, okay, we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need some bolt cutters or something. How do we know if they're dead or not? Oh, no. Open up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I can. Oh, no. Oh. Go, go, pull and pull! Oh. No. It's okay. Ma'am. It's like a saving private Ryan part. I'm so sorry. I took so long in the bathroom. <laughs> Do not obstruct. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Officer's notebook. Goddess statue. Underneath the goddess statue is a way out of the police station. Three medallions and then... Hold on. I mean, I know it's a rough sketch, but there you go. There you go. We have the symbols for them. We already have the symbols for them. Huh. Unicorn one. We've seen the lion one and we've seen her. But do you still need the... Hamburger helper. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Where did he come from? Okay, I'm gonna move, move over. I'm gonna get back to... Oh my gosh, more are coming in. Let's get back to the main, main part. What? Where am I supposed to go? Is that guy really dead? Okay, maybe I can get them to come over here. Or maybe they won't come in here. Maybe they don't know where you went. Uh, Watchman's room's done, so I, I didn't miss anything in there. We Now that we have those medallions, we know where to go. We need to... Uh, it says a way out under the goddess statue specifically, but I only... I need to get around them. Okay, they're here. Okay, make them come over here, maybe, and then I can maybe run around them. I think that's, like, what you have to do when you play hardcore, is you can't rely on... Oh, no... Flashlight out. You can't rely on your gun, you know? Like, you can't be shooting people left and right. Okay, we're gonna need to come back here for the fuse box, but get under her, Claire! Go, go, go before we end up like that guy! No! Kick him in the face! Shoot him! Leon. Oh! You all right? That's not Leon. You're safe. For now. I keep thinking Leon's gonna be here. Marvin but... Rana. Marvin. Thanks. Obviously someone taught you well. Yeah. I know how to take care of myself. Corinne. Come on. 
Thank you so much, Marvin. Oh my goodness. You know the sign that says stay out? Not good at listening to directions. So nobody knows what caused this? There's a lot of theories. But all I know for sure is that this place is crawling with zombies. Yeah, you're telling me. But we know that hey, hey, smashing their brain stops it. Just in case. I'm not gonna be around long. Once I find Chris, we're out of here. Chris? You really Chris's sister? Yeah. Why? Did you find something? He's on vacation. Europe, I think. Left weeks ago. What? Vacation? He would have told her. That's, that's great news. Well, I've got more for you. Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. Good. <gasps> hey. Uh, yeah, we should probably get you to a hospital. I think he's infected. Forget about me. I can take care of myself. No. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to need some help. Listen, Claire. Save yourself. Mm hmm So you can see your brother again. Now, you'll probably need this. No, I'm not taking that. You're going to... Oh. And be careful. If you see one of those things, no matter who they were, you can't hesitate. Take them out if you can. <laughs> or you run. <laughs> I'm going to have to rely on my instincts. Oh, it's a knife. Oh, nice. Nice knife, dude. That... Uh, this is a knife. <laughs> I'll never unsee that scene. A combat knife. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, that'll do. That'll do. Equip on this inventory screen to use. This knife wears down with the use and will break when its gauge is depleted. Does cutting through duct tape count as wearing down? I mean, yeah, actually, tape probably deteriorates a knife more than you'd think. Can be used to counterattack LB when you are caught by an enemy. Okay, so LB is the ready, and then RT is the slash. So you can counterattack with LB. Mm. And attack. And block, and attack. And block, and attack. Ugh. I feel like he told us that for a reason, too. I think he's going to turn. I mean, look at him. Uh, ha, ha, ha. do we want to use a save ribbon in this exact moment? It's hard to say. I'm happy with all of the green that I'm seeing here. We still have a fuse box there. We know we can open this and get into that side next. Well, that needs medallions, and we can't get a medallion from there. Hold on. Going to our pamphlets. Three medallions from three different people. Of course. Okay, the medallion is right. I don't know how I didn't. Yeah, when I first saw the lion, of course. So we have the codes now. We have all the medallions, but we don't know where the unicorn is. And we have no idea where the woman statue is because there's two women statues. You can see this one is holding a flag and this one's holding like an orb. Oh, and for this guy. Upstairs with the waiting room because of the safe. Mm, I think it's because of the safe that is showing red. I'm just going to have to play smarter on hardcore, you know, where you're not trying to just shoot everything. I think I played that last section pretty well, being able to, I think I put one bullet in him and then ran past him. Uh, here we go. So officer's note for the lion is a lion, an olive branch, and a eagle, maybe? Lion. How apt. Um... Olive branch or something and a bird. Nice. Very nice. Lion medallion. Hmm. I think the only am I still fine? Yeah, I'm doing fine. The only other place we can go at this point is I like the tiling. Oh. Let's go ahead and free up that slot in our inventory. Do you have to place these in the right order? Three medallions. You probably do. Wait. Hmm. It gave us a lion, right? So maybe it's just the first one you get? Never mind. So Elliot was right. 
Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, but we're not out of here yet. I'll be as quick as possible, sir. Okay, you guys, I would say that this is a good time to go ahead and save. I want to try to stock up on the ribbons, but I don't want to continue going. I'm also going to store another first aid spray, and I think we should. Or maybe not. Do I trust myself? I mean, I have first aid spray in case I get attacked. Let's go ahead and use this. Although... I find it a little bit ridiculous because I really do feel like you should just be able to... I want to see how much it used it. Um, small, small bit. I feel like you could peel that tape off, but... Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the stupid thing and I'm not going to save. Unless we find ribbon in here. Oh, I have so much ammo. <laughs> Oh, I can't. Oh, I could make a stronger serum, but I, I... Let's go ahead and store some of this stuff. Let's store the 11 bullets. I'm, uh... I'm all topped up on my bullets. Go ahead and store the 11 bullets. Store the green. Could go knife. I could go offensive with the knife, maybe. And hold off for that. Yeah, this looks like a waiting room information. There's, um, some kind of screen on the other side. Raccoon City. Hmm. Um, not liking the scratch marks. And I'm not liking this at all. I don't have the map. I wonder if... Can he give us an updated map of where we need to go? Can I try talking to him real quick? Hey, sir. No, no, okay. That's on me. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm panicking. <laughs> I know, y'all are like, oh, this is gonna go well. She already did a single. I'm gonna save over these. Time to start overwriting that same file. Hmm. Oh! Unicorn? I don't think the goddess has the tail, so I think that's got to be the unicorn. Oh, you've got to be kidding. There's a lot of cleaning in progress. Oh. Absolutely not. I hear a radio. All right, this is blocked off here. We've got a long hallway. This is maybe somewhere that I can use to my advantage to make sure I don't get... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I... What could have done that and the other... Oh, no. Who's there? Oh, hell no. You know what? So they don't kill for their bodies. Oh, oh shoot, it looks like a clicker in that moment. We're looking at a... Now we have... Right. The club door. Claw marks. There's only one thing that that could be. Some things will never lose your memory. I might not remember everything. I don't remember a lot. But there is one thing that never leaves your brain when it comes to this game. Once you see it. I can board that up. I can get things and board it up. I really need an extended mag. How long is this hallway? Okay, let's go ahead and run to the... <gasps> Okay, let's run in here. What was that? It broke in. 
It broke in. Whatever it was, it broke in. Okay, record of events. Take a brief moment to the breathe. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Oh, that couldn't be me. <laughs> September 26. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure how to fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray in here. David Ford. I think we're in the west side, right? I think we headed towards the east side first. It depends. Are you looking at him? Okay. In this exact moment, I don't think they know we're in the... We're in the operations room, and we also have an open window over there. There's two doors here. No. I need bolt cutters. Police station, first floor map. Okay, so that's locked right now. What is this? Something to get us into the hallway, perhaps? Or no, we need to double back. <gasps> I think I either need to... Okay, safety deposit room, dark room. West office. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're in the west. Yeah. East office I haven't gotten into yet, so we need two bolt cutters. <sighs> but we need to get on the second floor, so we need to head out through here. Head down here and head to the second floor. Let's go. Uh, there's ammo there. I'm missing the ammo there, though. Oh, no, but I gotta go. I gotta go. I missed the ammo. Oh, can I turn off my flashlight? Dang it! I need to go back to the operations room to get that ammo. That's gonna kill me. But you know what? We'll have to come back here anyway to get to the chain door. So I just consider that like a reserved ammo. Okay, dead body down here. Make sure there's nothing on him. Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. All right. We can head towards down here. Oh, we can probably get in through. Oh, no, no. I think that's what they're banging on. That's what he's banging on. And that is the records room in it. The west office. We can try to get into the safety deposit room in the west office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, he's not banging on the door. He's... Okay, he hasn't noticed us yet. Let's go into the... Wait, he might have noticed us. He might have noticed us. I think he noticed us. I think he's noticed us. <laughs> All right, gunpowder. Gunpowder for... Uh, I think he's over here. Uses of gunpowder. Handgun ammo. Gunpowder times two. Acid rounds. Gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder white. Submachine gun ammo. I want acid rounds. We are so making acid rounds. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station. So make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo. So pay attention when you're combining things so you won't get so you won't get what you need. No, maybe he hasn't noticed. I am just rolling in ammo, Jojo. I don't think he noticed. Okay, this is a massive office and I can't use this because I don't have a spade key. So let's start by going down here and looking at any clues we can find. Okay, operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. 
Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot Edward. Look at the bodies too. Make sure that I don't see any bodies. Okay, we... S <gasps> He's here. Okay, well, we know we don't have the spade key. Okay. We're gonna have to, like, give him the run around. Can you pause for one second, zombie? All right, here we go. Rookie's first assignment. Wait, I saw Leon's name. Leon S. Kennedy. We're putting you on a very special case. And this time, don't worry, you won't have to tell a girl to get in a trash can. Uh, your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. Input the letters in the order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both right. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names and put the letters in order of our desk. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Brannon? Scott scrawled in the corner between blood drops. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Okay, so I'm gonna just run around a little bit. I do- Oh, sugar shacks! Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Where did he even come from? Okay, hold on. I need to take a sp 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 spray. I don't want to panic here. But I think I should run this way. I can't go that way. Oh, that's not good. Not good. Safety deposit room? Is it locked? It's not locked. Nice. Okay. Let's use it to- I do think I should kill some of these guys. Is it locked? No, he's breaking in. He's breaking in. He's breaking in. Yeah. Okay, but that's okay. We need to just- I- I think we just gotta kill this one. Because he's gonna keep haunting all of the areas that I need to be. So, let me just try to bring him down if I can. Can I, like, smash his head? He's getting back up. He's getting back up. He's getting back up. Reload. How do you- how do you kill? Can you not kill them? Maybe in hardcore you can't kill? What the fuck? Okay. Shoot. I need key cards? How do you know if they're dead dead? Weapons locker? I'm gonna watch him and see if he gets back up. The other guy's banging. Could be a potential bad situation I get in here if... Oh, come on, are those grenades? I would prefer to. Did the other guy just get up too? Okay, no, this guy's still done. Let him walk down here a little bit. Come here. I'm not gonna worry about killing this guy. I think I can get the other stuff done. I gotta learn to not like panic when... I think you might not realize I'm here. The other guy's officially dead dead too. Sir? I don't know, he's kind of fast. He does this like running thing. Piece of paper. Storage locker terminal me memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know what? You know who you are, bastard. Who else would F it up this badly? Okay, there's nothing on there. That guy's there. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think I should go back over here, though. I think I want to go back into the west office. Go back into the west office, which is across here. Hopefully that guy doesn't come in here. What? There's a second one? There's a fourth one. There's a fourth one. I think I'm gonna have to kill these people. Uh, I did not mean to run this way. I don't want to run this way. I don't- I don't want to die. Safety deposit. 
This is not good. Not good. Who's breaking through first? Okay, let's- okay. Being in the doors kind of stops them for a little bit, I will say. Okay, but they're both coming through. I think I'm gonna need to leave it alone for a second. Oh, what's this? Okay, well, we know what that is, but combine that, we're gonna make a strong. We're gonna make a strong herb. Also, hold on, wooden boards. Okay, we can patch up that window. And what is this? Okay, hold on. Don't panic, everybody. <laughs> Don't, I'm telling you guys this. It's I something about this. It's unnerving. Like you're in this situation. It's so unnerving. You want so badly to act calm and you just can't. Hip pouch. Oh, is that so I can have more spots? Handgun ammo. Like it just plays on your fears in the most perfect way possible. All right, those guys are still on my back, so I need to make sure that we're kind of moving quickly. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arklay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal ma uh, basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for the red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known for combining herbs together, produces blends that heighten the herbs' effects. But it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. Mmm. I know, I could have waited to combine with red herbs. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. I like that. I feel like I shouldn't just be opening these. Can I combine? <sighs> That will make handgun ammo, but until I have to, like if I have to for storage, oh, three tapes right on. Okay, I need to find a safe spot. I really want to make acid ammo, but I'm going to combine with, I need space. That's the only downside. Oh, well, would you look at that? All right, so this is the dark room. Maybe they're not allowed to come in here. Are they allowed to come in a safe spot area? That will give us two more to save with. Wait a minute, I thought I saved over my first one. Wow. Guys, I think I lucked out. I think I really lucked out because I think I said no, I didn't want to save over the last thing. All right, we're going to store some uh, gunpowder and we're going to store the ink ribbon. I know it might be risky, but can I combine these? Take out. Nice. All right, that's looking good. I'm actually going to... Sturdy pieces of wood that can be used to board up windows. Perfect for keeping the riffraff out. I think I need to keep it. But we got a red herb. Perfect. And... I can use something... Okay, so I can actually use this room. Film contains evidence do, uh, do not leave out. So I'm going to want to turn this off and on. Okay. I can come back here if I ever want to do something. <gasps> Beautiful. I think this is basically like a safe space, right? Like the zombies, I, to my knowledge, they can't come in here, I think. Let's go ahead and make a stronger powder as well. So let's go ahead and combine with this guy. So we have a mixed herb. I'm going to go ahead and store this since it's less... Mm, I'm going to store this since it's more potent for later. Look at all the cameras. Yeah, I, I think that this is like my safe space. Dark room sink. We're going to find film, I'm assuming. So we're actually doing pretty, pretty well, I would say. So we have these dial locks. Um, I think that the stairs are boarded off, I want to say. I, I think the only way to get up to the second floor is to use the spade door upstairs. Yeah, spade door up, upstairs, I believe. Dark room is cleared out. We need to get into the safety deposit room and clear that. The operations room, I think, is missing me picking up that ammo, but we're going to have to come back for that anyway for the records room. Locker terminal. I really want that hip pouch and those flame rounds. <sighs> I've got to get into the west office, but I don't know if I want to spend the bullets. 
to be able to move around freely. I think if I can kind of avoid them, it'd be nice. Okay. All right, we're gonna get right back into it, but I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Okay, I'm ready to head out. Oh. Safety deposit room next. Well, I think I need to do the West office first. I need to open Leon's desk, I really do. And I need to go inside of this room. So we need to, yeah, turn the corner. Remember that I always have my safe room. Oh, wait. <gasps> we can go up the stairs. Okay, bef before we go up to the second floor though, I really do think I should try to clear as much as the first floor as possible. Wait. If you get them when they don't notice you, is that an insta-kill? Okay, let's roll into here. Oh, shoot! Oh! I, why did I run backwards? Oh my gosh. Woo! Hold up. Take this real quick. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh gosh, run, 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 run. Why did I do And also, how do I... I think if you hit him in the back of the head, maybe it causes them to... Oh, shoot. There we go. Do I want to outrun a bunch? Yes. Will I be able to? Probably not completely. Okay, now we can freely explore and enjoy this area and not have to worry about dealing with stupid zombies. All right, two or three we need to unlock. Don't I need a pad though? Oh, I'm missing two. Oh, uh, I see. Do I have a one? I do have a one, but it's 102 and 103. Clever girl. Uh, did I miss anything else though while I was like sprinting through here and freaking out and panicking? 203, 208. And I missed that shotgun, I'll tell you that much. 109 I might be able to get. And 106. I think I can I think I can pin him for 106 and 109. Mm hmm Yep. Alright, we'll go ahead and unlock that guy. Perfect. Uh-huh. That means I definitely am just gonna take out the guy in the other room so I can freely just navigate through the office without having to worry but i want to test shooting him in the back of the head to see if that's an insta shot 107 was it 106 oh there's something wait was 107 one no it was 106 i also feel like this guy's gonna come back alive <gasps> that's a yeah that's a commemoration something commemorate something we could also go pick up a health i should always ha have like some kind of health on me at all times 30 rounds that's nice i feel good about this twos i can't unlock any of the stuff right mm. i need to go to the west office i need to kill this guy okay where is he okay test it Nope. It's not just a headshot in the back of the head kind of thing. It's more just like a... I should wait for him to walk towards me. Oh, shoot. Okay, let me get him in a hallway. I Yeah, that's like not a good angle for me. Something about that's difficult. Okay, he's through. He's through. He's through. Hit him once. He staggered. Hit him twice. He... Okay, we'll go here. Reload. Mr. Zombie. Mr. Zombie. It's not very nice to ignore a girl. Okay, I can't miss anything. I need to stop it right now. Seriously? He doesn't want to come to I I I think they just don't want to come down this hallway. He's not completely dead, but 
His head didn't explode, so I don't love that, but we'll be fine for now. Okay, what did they say about... Oh, nice safe. Oh, shoot. How am I supposed to find the codes for that? I feel like I'm so thorough. Don't expect him to be completely dead. They said something about names. Something about names to open these. The first letter, right? Neil. Elliot. N-E. N-E. Northeast. Oh, I'm missing one. Um, Let's check it out. Newbie, right? Wait a minute. Rookie's first assignment. The initials of our first names. Oh, there it is. Uh, D. N-E-D. Ned. N-E-D. While it does make you have to notice their name, is that really how you teach somebody how to learn? Marvin, Rita, and George. So G R M, G R M, or backwards. G. Oh, it's uh, backwards. R M, G R M. So M R G. Hmm. All right, Leon, what you got? Speed loader. What do you do with that? What does that do? Huh, I should have looked at it first before I combined them. This is so silly of me. But it also didn't give me any of the like twos or threes. I haven't cleared this office yet. Does the safe count against you? The safe does. The safe counts against you for clearing the, the room. Okay, I don't see any. He's back up. Naturally. It's okay. That's okay. Is there a way for me to turn off? I do need a counter posture. Let him come in here first. Can I smack him with the door? I gotta go. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Should I go board up that one door downstairs, guys? Hmm. Let's go ahead and get the mixed herbs out. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna keep the first spray for something different. Ooh, hold on. Oh, let's use the film. Okay, use. Commemorative photo. It's just a photo of a guy holding a book and a statue or in a scepter. Okay, flip this back. I'm not gonna save. I'm not gonna save. I'm not gonna save. I can do this. We can do this. All right, let's go upstairs. Although I really do think I should have. Oh, I can board up here. Yes, let's board here. I think that's a better spot to board. Hmm. I don't trust that. Don't trust that. Wait, but they might have something on their body. <gasps> they do. Oh! Okay, that was fine. Right, so there's three floors. There's a third floor. Okay, this is boarded up. That's wide open. I think that's what that indication is. That's showing it's wide open. Up on the second floor, we don't have anything about this area. Because we don't have a map. We need to find a map. Zombie. Maybe I can go into the bathroom without them noticing. I can't go through there. Oh my goodness. What is this? Portable safe. Portable safe, what for? Examining items, you can examine an item from different angles, selecting it and using that in the commands. You might reveal something that helps you progress. Small portable safe. Mm. Mm hmm. That means there's something in it, right? 
Oh, okay. Okay. So it's this one. Nope. One. Nope. One. How many attempts can you get? <gasps> one, two. Oh, no. Okay, that can work. One, two. No. One, two. Did they switch it? One, two, three. Oh, you have to you have to bring it the other way. Okay, so then it would be here. And it would be here. Then here. So it's one, two, three, four. No. But that's fine. I can start with that. I can go one, two. Oh, never mind. Wait, one. No. Oh no. One. No. One. No. Three. Two. It's 50 50, guys. 50 50. <laughs> no! No! Oh no. Okay, wait, wait. Mm, no! Okay, one. Two, three. No. One, two, three. But I've already have four. Oh. Oh my goodness. My brain. Okay. So one, two. Okay, we can go here. We can go here, here, here. Then I believe it's here? No. Oh, it's there. So one, two, three. I just have to remember where they're coming in at. My brain's turning to mush. It's turning to mush. It's officially turning to mush. <laughs> okay, here. What comes after this one? I know it's super simple. But at the same time, your brain just doesn't look at it like that. Okay, this comes before this. So this comes before this. Let me just keep doing the same one. Because if I keep doing the same muscle memory... Okay, I'll start with that. I'll go like that. So boom, boom, boom. Nope. Boom, boom, boom. Nope. Keep it up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. So boom, boom, boom. 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 So ding, ding, ding. So L, then boom to boom. Then here. And then it's that 50-50. <laughs> That's that one. Boom, boom, boom. Then it's boom, and then boom, and then got it. Okay. Oh! Do, 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 do. System part. It's just a spare part. It can be for anything. Honestly, we could go find stuff right now. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. Wait a minute. Press a button to light up its court to open the safe. Yeah, yeah. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence again. I don't trust anything. I'm also running out of space, guys. I know. Tough problem to have. Oh, shoot. Okay. I need something there. Wait, they're both locked? Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go use that spare part. That person noticed me. I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down, down. And they broke through. Oh. What? Okay, they broke the glass. They broke the glass, so if you don't do something there, then I don't think. Okay. Is there anybody in here? Okay, I don't think there's anybody in here. Let's go ahead and do, oh, is two or three more important? I want to be able to get this, which is 203. <laughs> I'm just going to put two in. I'm going to put it in two. I also need to clear up spaces, so I might go put the incinerary around somewhere. All right. 
Let's do 102 for now. Gunpowder. They know what they were doing. I'll tell you that much. Okay. I could make more rounds. That's something else entirely. That's like an actual key card. 108. Okay, 208 and 203. So just 208. 50 50. Still incinerary rounds, right? I can't imagine speedrunning this. I was just thinking about that. So how do I ammo for a grenade launcher? The napalm inside ignites on impact, setting the surrounding area on fire. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, well, we have to head back up. So I'm going to go around here. I'm going to go drop off our items in our safe. We're thankfully safe because we put that up. But that might not stay. It might not stay forever. And I also need to kill this guy, so... I'm actually starting to have kind of a lot of gunpowder, so I'm gonna go ahead and combine these. You get nine rounds combined with this. So we've got 36 rounds, and let me put our grenade launcher. Yeah. Could I save? Absolutely. Am I gonna save? No. No. If I have to panic, okay. He can't come over here. Because it's a safe room. I can abuse the crap out of this. Nice try, sucker. Okay, wait, wait, wait. He might be able to come here. I can't quite tell. Okay, no. Is he now headed this way? He's headed this way. I should just take him out. Oh, shoot. You got a headache? I gotta run. I need to kill him, though. Like, I've already invested this many bullets in his brain. It'd be a shame to let him live. There we go. You know, like, at some point, it's like a cost of your pride. Right, okay. So this room has... Corpse. Lock. And steam... Shoot, I need a valve. Okay, we're gonna need a valve. <gasps> a red plant. Sweet. And nothing else. Is this... I? Yeah, okay, this hallway's done. Hallway is done. Let's go up on third floor. I'm trying to be as, like, methodical about this as possible. Ooh, look at the chandelier. It is... I don't think I ever realized that Raccoon City used to be a museum. I think it makes so much more sense now. Nice. Oh, we're swimming in ammo, finally. I still... What books? What broke through this? And who? Oh, one of those little art things? Are you kidding me? Another one of these. I don't like all the surrounding noises. Okay, where are we? <gasps> a key's here. Oh, a beautiful, beautiful spade key. Yes, okay, we are making really good progress. Yes, yes, yes. Also, is that a, is that a, hmm. Spade key, what else? Nope, this area's cleared. What does this look like? I don't like this. What is that? It's a room to something else. Mm. <gasps> what was that? Oh no, 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 no. I don't want this part. I don't want this part. I don't I don't wanna die. I sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. View files? Why do I need to view a file? What am I needing to view? View files. Why do I need to view a file? I 
I know I need I... West storage room. I don't think there's anything at the end of the hall. Boards? Do I need to board up a... Gunpowder. All out of items. This is so creepy. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Why did they do such a good job at making this so scary? Let me try to head out. We'll come back to the room later. I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure. Blair, oh no. It's Marvin. How fast can you get back here? What? Why was that? I've got something to show you. It's important. All right, I'm on my way. I mean, I feel like I could get back there kind of quick. Oh, what's my? If I'm on the bottom floor, hold on. I'm in the library. Um, if I'm on floor one. No, that's the spade. So my, I have to be on floor two. But I'm on floor three, so I need to get down to floor two. And I have to go there. Mm -mm. I think right there. I think the door down at the bottom of this will give me the spade key. Wow, this is beautiful. How much ammo do we have? 37 rounds. We could try to take him out from above. Try to shoot his head from above. I want to say that that's the spade key. Yes. All right. That's how fast I can get down here. Ah! <gasps> oh, shit. <sighs> I should have just taken the stairs. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no, the spade. Oh, no. <laughs> what is that? Combat knife? Unicorn statue? I can do this real quick. Police upper floor map. Grab the map, grab the map. All right, police station upper floor maps, nice. All right, let's go ahead and look at that. Oh, look how much we've missed. We went in the shower room. There's an armory. Star's office. Linen room, and we're in the lounge, and we can get that unicorn statue. We can kill two birds, one stone. Mm. Guide pamphlet? No. Officer's notebook. This is, what is the statue? The unicorn that I saw down below, yes. All right, we're looking at the upside down fishies. The 69 fish. The scorpion and the pouring of water before those guys come this way. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, fish 69 -ing. We've got the, what was it, scorpion? I think it was scorpion. There. I wonder if this actually pauses them from being able to come after you. Cause it's not, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um. Oh shoot. I lose it for good. Yep. I'm gonna have to come back and grab that later. I, I can't grab it. There's also film right there. No gunpowder. Okay, I'll combine this and then combine. Hold on. I might be able to pull this off. Can I combine? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I need you guys to hold on for one second. Okay, let's go over here. Go over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All right, knock him. Knock him. Take a heal. Let's go combat knife and run. Run, run, run. Perfect. I wasted a whole combat knife, but so worth it. Here we go. Spade, spade, spade. Wait, I, uh, don't grab the book. Don't grab the book. Don't grab the book. Come on. Woo! Okay, not bad, but now they're going to be free roaming throughout here. Also, I just want to move this. Wait, can I move it? No, I can't. There's a lot of items. I know I just missed in there. I know. Oh, let me drop off the medallion before we talk to him. Second medallion. Oh. That's not where we drop him off. I need to go save before we talk to him too. And I can, oh no, oh no. What's going on, what's going on, sir? 
There you are. Marvin. Come here. What is it? Take a look. Oh my god, he made it. You know him? Leon? Yeah, it's Leon. Uh, Kennedy, I think? Uh, the rookie. Uh, the rookie. Thought he looked familiar. You can make it to that courtyard. The second floor, east side. Okay. And now I have the spade key. I'm on it. Yep. Okay, what do we do first? Do we get Leon first? Okay, you know what? This is good, this is good. Unicorn next. One more medallion. One more medallion. Hmm. There's so many other things that I need to do still though. I've gotta get in those safes. I guess maybe they can't come through. Perhaps. Let me go ahead and unlock this. Now we can get quickly back to the safe if we need to. We can also get quickly back to the safety deposit room and the dark room. So this was really important to have. The other areas that we can get through is now the upstairs with that spade key. And then maybe we'll be done with the spade key. So let me go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and unlock the next one. Oh. Let me grab the ink ribbon. Grab the ink ribbon. I need that first aid spray. I should not have gotten smacked by that. I'm really annoyed at that. Okay, we're fine for now. I'm gonna go up, unlock the spade key, see if we can drop the spade key because that's taking up inventory space. And we need to prioritize getting that extra bag. I'm just running out of inventory space left and right. I sound like I'm injured, but I'm not. Yes, it's done. You can discard items that have served their purpose or any other key item that has a red check mark by doing the discard button. Perfect. Goodbye, foul beast. I don't like it already. I do already have the map for this. So we've got private collection, art room, and fire escape. More boards. We do need to start boarding up more things. Is that the direction I need to go? Oh, I'm gonna need something. Okay. No zombies. Right. Raccoon Magazine. Art article, The Red Stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, and the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels, especially if you like jewels, splendor, the board game, fantastic. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's not that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in the beauty shadow. This jewel has turned carry nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Caligula? Caligula? And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because of these jewels that are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. <gasps> Not the hearts of people. Weapons locker key card! I'm so glad that we started exploring up here. Okay. Oh, my favorite lamps. If you guys have ever seen me with any of these lamps, they're my absolute favorite. So you're telling me that they retired the museum and left all this priceless art in a police station. Kratos? Huh. Oh. Statue's left arm. I guess we should probably put it back for him. Dear sir. Hmm. Oh, there's no exit. So this is just going to be a room that... Sashi's left arm. 
Wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Items. Miscellaneous, maybe? No. That's him. Commemorative photo. He's missing a book. But where would his book be? Mm, it might not be. Obviously, it's not going to be in the same space. That would be silly. Of course not. So much art. Okay, I say we go back and use the key card to get the shotgun. I really want to figure out how we find the codes to this safe. It appears like they won't come through here, which makes me feel really good. The library has some items and I wasted one of my tactical- The red book! <gasps> I saw it on my way out! Maybe I can like pop in and grab it. Maybe just like quickly, just snag it real quick. Mm hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, gotta go, bye. Oh no, bye. Yeah, I don't think they'll come out here. I think that's like the one thing that makes hardcore not so rough and tough. Granted, we haven't done any boss battles, but like if you know your safe zones, you can kind of play around those, I guess. Just honestly shoot in the dark here. It's so gorgeous. It's giving night at the museum vibes. I do need to be careful because I, I almost wonder if sometimes they add more zombies as time goes on or like, I don't know, maybe more spawn. Oh, combine. Left arm with a book. One puzzle solved. Why do I need a scepter? A scepter? <laughs> what am I supposed to use a scepter? A short staff with a jewel inside of it. Uh, okay. A red jewel, a pricey looking gemstone. What are you buying? What are you selling? Am I supposed to combine it to make something? I don't know, but I like it. It's ours now. So we just ditched the scepter and took the jewel. <laughs> I guess we can use it to negotiate if things get tough. Um, I think out of all the items we have, we have the key card. So I want to go back for that shotgun. And I also want to save. Shotgun save. Board up a window as well. I think we should board up that one downstairs window. Now that we have extra boards. Yeah. Although I need to wait until like right before. I need to also have a save point right before. I think I can do all of this. I don't think I need to save yet. But I do want to go place the jewel here. Store that. Isn't there a... I thought the, the club... Didn't the club... Or no, that was green. Okay, never mind. Club was green. Mmm... I kind of need all of this stuff. I will store the ink ribbon for now because we can save later. I'm going to store this. I'm going to take out the first aid spray just in case, but I really want to try not to use it if at all possible. And I've got to find the codes. Right. Oh, and we need a valve and a dialogue. Oh, the jack. We need that jack for the other side, right? We do need to go back to the library and this is locked. Yeah, we're going to have to go back to the library, guys. Ugh. As much as we don't want to. Right. I'm going to go this way to board up that one door to prevent more guys from coming. Because I think that's how maybe some of them came through in the first place. Yeah. Run through. Board up this. Board. Go beyond here. Wait, I should go back in here. Oh, there's a person. Oh, wait, no. There's a person in the, the room that we need to go in is the operations room. But I'm pretty sure there's a person in there, so I should be careful. There should be one more. Oh, they broke in here, too? They broke... Oh, they're broken down there, too! Oh, it's a... It's a losing battle. Operations room should be right up here. 
I need to just run in and grab that ammo. Should be right here. No, 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 no. Damn it. Damn it, that was so not worth it. I should have cleared the area first. I should have just cleared it. Now I'm gonna have to use my first aid spray and now I'm I'm just in a really bad place. Oh shoot. Did that even clear the room? It did. The cost of my handgun bullets was a first aid spray, which is not a good trade. I have so many bullets. So stupid. That was foolish of me. So why is there another guy there? I guess we didn't kill him, did we? Okay. Key code? Use. Weapons locker? Done. Give me that shotgun. Oh, please. GM-79. No, it's a grenade launcher? <laughs> it looks like a shotgun! It's capable of firing flame and acid rounds. I do want some acid rounds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, so we change here and we reload. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm gonna save that for worse things than just normal zombies. So is it even possible to find another key or can you pick this up? No, you can't. So we still need to find one more. So stupid. So mad about that. I'm going out here. Oh, shoot! Shit. Don't start with me. That was terrifying. <sighs> okay, are we trying to go up on the third floor or on the... Oh, I don't have a valve for that anyway, so I don't even think I can go over there anyway. Yeah. Gotta stop there. Oh. I gotta go back up this terrifying hallway. Dialogue here. Stupid creepy statue. I kind of want to go back the other way. It's too late now, though. We have to go through the west storage room. I don't trust. I don't trust. I have trust issues. This whole game has spent the whole time terrifying the crap out of me. Even if it hadn't been so long. since the last time that I've been here. Ammo. Yeah, even if it hadn't been this- holy cow, you can- so, wow. 60 rounds? It doesn't matter, like, you never get used to the atmosphere that they build in this game. Like, the way that they've done this is just incredible. Like, I still to this day am terrified. God damn it. Wow, his head just went owl mode like three. 180, is there someone up here? Okay, I want to be able to run through the library as free as possible, so I want to just take them out now before they climb up here. I need to get a good angle on them. This is good, this is good. No way, can they climb up here? No, no, Claire? Uh, 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 uh. Where did they just go? Oh, they're down there. They can't climb up. There's no way they can climb up. Right? It'd be silly. Oh, <laughs> that was just insane. Oh, okay, that guy's almost dead. I can't get the shot on him. Can I not go down this way? Is that the way I was- Oh, oh, oh that flooring. Bastard. Wait, they will be able to get me if I don't get these shots on them? I just need to wait till they're easier to shoot. Okay. Okay, she's coming up. She's coming up. Hold on. We can do this. We can do this. Or maybe she doesn't want to come upstairs? It's like she doesn't want to come upstairs. Alright, maybe I don't need to shoot. I do just want to get rid of one bullet. Oh, I know I already shot. 
We need to go get the knife. Knife and jack. Combat knife and jack. Why won't she? Okay, she will come up here now. She's starting to? No, she's not. Yes, she is. She is. She is. She is. Okay, she's going down. Oh, no. One shot left. Make it count. I think it's just. Oh! These damn things just don't want to stay down, do they? There's like not even a head left. Just don't waste all your bullets. I need to be able to move these around freely, I think, yeah. Why are they going upstairs now? That's okay, let me climb upstairs and kill the other one. I need to not get hit at all. I'm gonna save all of my health. If I can take down these two zombies, then I can just move around this library with ease. Ma'am? How many shots does it take? Like, come on. Okay, that's gotta be for good. At least for her. She's gone down twice. Oh. Sir! Is she getting back up? No. Right. There is no way they are getting back up. Oh, I got my combat knife back from him! What? Get off of me! Oh, seriously? Do you know how many bullets I put in this guy's face? It's not possible. I, I, I just don't think he dies. I think that's how they do this. Is some of the zombies just cannot die? Okay, what's the purpose of this? We can move stuff around. He's gonna get back up. I'm now injured. And pissed off. The files. Three, four. Do I need to get to a certain side? Hmm. The ladder's there. We don't have the jack yet, though. Oh! Oh, wait, I know where I am. I'm so mad about that. Just was silly. Uh, I can go get the tactical knife. Yeah, I can go get the tactical knife. I know, I'm sorry, Claire. I really screwed you over there. <gasps> Ooh. Nice. Should be able to move everything. Okay, there's a tactical knife somewhere. I think it's on this cop. Mm -hmm. Did y'all see that? What's through that room? Oh, yeah, he's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this room's cleared. This room's cleared, minus the jack. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so what's next? I think we just have to go and collect Leon at this point. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything else I can do, you guys. I can't get in, like, I don't have a vial. I don't have a dialogue. I don't have any combinations. So, yeah, I think at this point, he's coming through the door. The waiting room, the art room. Uh, this is where I was just going through on the outside. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I think next we'll be going and getting Leon. I haven't saved yet, so let me go ahead and drop a save now that I'm slightly doing bad. Marvin, how you doing? There's no more health down here. I really screwed the pooch with that one. Let's go ahead and throw a second full combat knife in there. And I need to pull out my ink ribbon and I'm going to keep the... How many flame rounds can you carry? I'll take that. All right, we're saving over. We're going to save over right here. 
so I think this is a good spot to end. I know this is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to be trying to keep these videos between an hour and a half to two hours uh, just because my heart. Like, I forgot how much this game really plays into just your anxiousness because you've got these zombies like running after you, right? This infected. Um, you're also always thinking about your health. You're thinking about like, okay, how can I not have to kill these people? Can I just like run around? But what makes the infected so brutal is they walk slow but then they'll get this like sprint burst and they'll be like ah, and like try to jump on you um i think my biggest challenge especially like in the next episode i'm gonna try to do a lot better job at just conserving health and plants and just doing my best to absolutely like keep my health at full no matter what because i know the worst is yet to come we did not have any deaths today but don't get your hopes up, guys. I mean, I'm going to stay like as confident as possible. I know that doesn't sound like it by saying that statement, but I'm confident I'll do well in this hardcore playthrough. I think some of it is just if you get caught in a corner, there's this hesitancy with your character. I don't know if you guys I, I think it's almost in all of the Resident Evils. I really remember it even in seven and eight. You almost have this like. Like, you know, in some games, how you can just spin around real quick and shoot as fast as possible. That's not here. It's almost like your character does have like real reaction times, almost a little slowed, a little slowed, but it's, um, it's brutal. That's for sure. I do think we did a great job starting out. There's so little things that I remember. I do remember the creatures that we haven't seen yet. I remember like, I think he like jumps down or something, but that's like the only enemy I'd say I remember really in this one. Gosh, the human memory is so funny how it works. Um, even like coming back in, I thought I was gonna see more things I recognized and I don't. And I actually think that there's a lot of things I picked up that I never even saw. Like I never looked at this. Um, I never looked at the, the miscellaneous letter. I never looked at a lot of these. <laughs> Lord knows, I never, like, I'm pretty sure I had to get chat to help me with so much of the stuff because back then I just was probably, like, fumbling around and I didn't pay attention to games the same way that I do now. So I'm so excited to kind of revisit this, give myself a challenge with hardcore, and also see it from a different perspective. Um, I can't remember how it differs from Leon A, but I'm sure you guys will let me know. So down below in the comments, let me know have you done a hardcore playthrough let me know down below but other than that if it's your first time here i hope you enjoyed this first part i usually upload on tuesdays thursdays and saturdays um and then i also do a whole separate games on the twitch side of things but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little introduction to resident evil 2 remake all right with that i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and bye youtube I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating. This is, <laughs> I don't want to die.